Welcome to another episode of This Goose is Cooked, where we review books intended for our future generations. Today's book, Tomorrow Most Likely, words by Dave Eggers, pictures by Lane Smith, published by Chronicle Books, San Francisco. A Presumptuous Mess Tomorrow Most Likely is a story guessing what might happen to a boy tomorrow in an annoyingly repetitive way by repeating tomorrow most likely. Dave Eggers throws in some rhymes to try and make it flow better, but it doesn't really help all that much. The novel starts by saying, and I quote, tomorrow most likely there will be a sky and chances are it will be blue. I would sure as hell hope there's a sky tomorrow. Otherwise we will all be dead and the human species will cease to exist. I would like to show this boy a weather forecast, because he could have a pretty damn good idea if the sky was going to be blue tomorrow. This book goes out on a limb, saying there will be a squirrel tomorrow. Um, yeah, squirrels aren't on the edge of extinction. There are plenty of them. I would assume there's going to be a squirrel today, tomorrow, and the next day. The book goes on to say that a particular squirrel's name will be Stu. Where is he getting this info from? Who are you to say his name will be Stu? It could be Bill, it could be Mary, it could be John Smith. Where did he come up with Stu? The book assumes the boy will wake up and eat brown cereal. What a boring life. He can't even get Fruit Loops or Tricks, or something with a little sugar in it. The author is also hoping that the door will still be on the front of his house. He must live in a bad area, thinking looters will come in and break down his door. The narrative also presumes the boy will be able to see people and hear cars and planes as he explores the city tomorrow. Then the novel takes a bizarre turn, and the boy is looking at a monster that looks like a snake with a bird's head on it, wearing a paper hat. But there's no words for this page. It doesn't really match up with the rest of the book. Seems like the illustrator just wanted to throw in one of his doodles for no reason. The novel asserts the boy will most likely touch a worried bug, but the bug isn't worried about the boy smashing him, no, he's worried about missing his friend, the squirrel, named Stu. Doesn't seem like a very likely friendship at all. The book claims the boy will, I quote, You'll touch something gooey. And the boy's bending over, sticking his hand in what looks like to be dog diarrhea or throw up. I hope to hell he doesn't actually do that. Because if he does, this kid will reach a new level of stupid. The book also asserts that he will meet a hunchbacked man walking a snail named Cousin Todd. Highly unlikely, and if he does, I would hope he would run the other way from that nut. The story goes on making all these outlandish presumptions about the boy exploring the city. What if he does none of this, and just sits there like a bump on a log? Finally we reach the end of the book, with the boy asleep in his bed, and the book says, I quote, Tomorrow most likely will be a great day, because you are in it, and Stu is okay. Don't get the boy's hopes up to have them shattered. What if Stu gets eaten by a hawk or run over by a car tomorrow? It will be utterly traumatizing. This book makes ridiculous assumption after ridiculous assumption about what the boy is going to do tomorrow. Here's a thought. Instead of having to guess and make up silly things for the boy to do while he's roaming the streets of the city, get this boy a hobby or a job. Take out the guessing and give him something to work at. Also, you don't need to repeat tomorrow most likely. He gets it after the first time. Besides the mix-up in the middle of the book, the pictures were actually entertaining. So with everything in mind, on a scale from 1 to 5, I'm going to give this book a 2. I'm going to have a taste, then push it around on my plate to make it look like I ate it. This goose is cooked. Join us next time for another in-depth book review.